Hi everybody, Laura here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm excited to be a part of the Just For You release blog hop with Simon's Stamp. And I have a fun project to share with you. I'm going to be featuring the mushroom stems die that just came out in the Just For You release. And I just never thought I'd be so into mushrooms. But I feel like they're trending and they really, really are cute. So I'm going to die cut. This whole die is one solid die. And it die cut the stems and the mushrooms. So first I die cut it out of some cream cardstock, but I'm only going to use some of the pieces. And then I have another little panel here. This is actually Concord Ninth Honeysuckle cardstock. Another one that would work really well is the Lawn Fawn Guava, or just a, a lighter shade of pinky red, corally, whatever it work. You could also just die cut it out of white cardstock. But I'm going to zhuzh up the mushroom topper with some ink blending. So I'm separating the stems from the topper and the inside of the mushroom, you kind of got to know what all goes where, okay? So you got three different sizes of mushrooms. So to add the zhuzhing, I'm going to blend on this solid color cardstock die cuts. And I put some tape runner on a little piece of scrap paper just to hold down these die cuts so I don't get my fingers in the way. Nothing worse than blending on your fingers. You ever do that? I do it all the time. But then you run the risk of smudging your project. So I'm taping down these little die cuts so I can get to ink blending. Now for the mushroom topper, I'm going to pull out cherry, which is a delicious, vibrant, rich red. These are all positively saturated inks. And I'm using one of the smaller detail brushes just to get a little bit in the corner. So I'm doing a little cherry on each side and then leave the middle and the top lighter. And it gives this beautiful dimension good enough to eat although I don't think I don't think these are the kind of mushrooms that you eat am I right I don't even know really anything about mushrooms I know my aunt and some of my family used to go mushroom hunting I've never done that and I've never even eaten wild mushrooms but I do love mushrooms I love them love them on pizza I really do okay so I just did the three mushroom toppers now for the stems I'm gonna zhuzh those up with a little latte this is a great, soft, it's a warm brown, and it pairs perfectly with that cream cardstock. You could also die cut these, all of these die cuts, you could just die cut them out of white cardstock and add the color with ink blending. But I kind of like the ease and the convenience of just adding a little bit of ink blending to a solid color cardstock. Just another variation. Okay, so I'm doing a little bit on the corners, a little bit on the top and bottom of the stems. It's very, very forgiving. Um, you don't have to be too careful. I'm using a Gina K blender brush. I swear I have about 1000 blender brushes from all different companies, all different sizes. And you know what? I use them all. I love them all. I hoard them all. I, I love all this thing. You know how it goes, right? You just love all the things. So now I'm going to glue these stems together. I put, uh, some barely arts liquid glue. Now this stem, you kind of tuck it in, you put, you push it up. Like, like I have it there with my finger, while you have that down, then put on the topper and it kind of tucks the stem inside and it just looks, gosh, it looks so good. If you've checked out the Simon Says Stamp site, you can see some other projects with these mushrooms. I know Debbie Hughes knocked it out of the park with the mushroom. Like, I don't know what she did, some Tim Holtz crackle, spackle flicking. It was just, she has a way. Nina, Nina Trapini. She worked her magic on a mushroom. I'm probably forgetting some, but oh gosh, there's a lot of mushroom goodness out there right now. Mine's a little more graphic, you know, per my style. But so here's this little mini, you know what I was tempted to do? And I almost did it. Do a card of rainbow mushrooms. I know, crazy, right? But how cute would that be? Uh, okay, so then I thought this would go so cute with the mushrooms. The new Magical Spring stamp set designed by Alberta Gava. And I mean, have you seen that guy? Color, forget about it. And he just works magic, absolute sorcery with uh, Copic markers. I, I do not. This is going to be a very low key. I call it my redneck Copic coloring. You can see my caps there. No fuss, no muss here. I'm going for a very fair skinned fairy and uh, just a little dab of the BG10. You know what I never thought in a million years that I would 
know the colors to the Copic markers, you know, but when somebody says BG10 or BG23, I know exactly what they're talking about. BG10 is a classic. I'll tell you, BG10 will get you a fairy wing. It'll get you a cloud. It'll get you a bee wing. It's just the perfect little subtle something. The BG10 is also good for some eyeglasses, just like a little shading down in there. BG10, that's where it's at. Okay, I did for the fairy uh, a little green dress and a little, a light, br it's a light brunette fairy with a rosy cheek. Now I'm going to take the coordinating die to the magical spring image. I'm using some of that pink easy C tape, run it through the die cutting machine. And then now I'm gonna create just a little scene, but I need to cut a panel and look at this bad boy. The new Tim Holtz rotary trimmer just came in the mail. Seriously, just came in the mail today. I pulled that puppy out so fast. And did I need a trimmer, another trimmer? No, I did not, but do I love it? Holy Smoky Joe's. It cuts like a Cadillac, like butter. Okay, it's 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 replacing my own. I mean, I love my other guillotine too, but this rotary stole the show. It really did. And I hate to say it because now I have about three different trimmers. And I was, I'm going to use another one later in the video, the little mini, which I use for my sentiment strips. Anytime I'm trimming out a sentiment, I pull out that mini and little things. But this rotary is a Cadillac. Okay, so now I made a little hill. I blended a little green onto, you know, just to keep inconsistency with the mushrooms. Now for the background, a little subtle blue sky. Little dabble do. So I did a little sea foam, a little surf. By the way, that hill, I die cut that using an older die set, the Layered Hills die set, which is one of my favorites partially because my daughter Bailey designed it, but it is a great classic die set. You can create a lot of different scenes, but you can also use it for stuff like this. If you just need a little hill, a little mountain, a little wave, a little slope, it's got all the things you need, even a circle for a sun or a moon. Okay, so I'm using some of these Simon's to Stamp little foam squares. I've been kind of digging those lately, trimming off the excess with the new Positively Everyday Scissors. These are also the cat's meow. I mean, really, really love them, love them, love them. Pop it up that panel on a white card base, and now I'm going to just start assembling the card. I did put a little foam tape behind the mushroom, but it kind of rests flat on the hill. So I did a little dab of glue for the bottom of the stem. And then uh, another little mushroom, kind of cocking it to the right. Again, a little glue on the stem. And then now we're going to put the little fairy. And she's kind of... Uh, I don't know what she's doing, but she's hanging out under the mushroom and thinking about maybe taking a nap. Okay, for a sentiment, another new item from the Just For You. It's the Reverse Friendship Sentiment Strips. Now, here's where I use the mini guillotine. This one works so good for cutting out sentiments. You can really see exactly where you're cutting, and you can get it straight, and it's just mini and handy. I'm adding a few of these little mini dew drops. Couple looks so nice upon that mushroom. And I love how this turned out. A little fairy mushroom project. Thinking of you. Make sure and check out the rest of the Just For You release with Simon's The Stamp. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day. And I will see you next time.